we all know that annuity is nothing but it's a regular series of payments right it's a regular series of payments or receipts at equal intervals of time it's a series of payments or receipts at equal intervals of time now with this regular uh, series itself if even equal payments are coming up even if the payment amounts are also same one the intervals are same fine even if the payment amounts are also same equal payments are also present we call those as level annuities the payments are also same at each period per a predefined set of periods so those are called as level annuities and within those level annuities also we can talk about a regular annuity versus annuity due regular annuities are where the payments are made at the end of the period so the period could be year or month or whatever it is the payments are made at the end of each of the period whereas when we are talking about annuity due the payments are made at the beginning of the period both are level annuities only but the payments are made either at the end of the period in case of regular annuity or at the beginning of the period in case of annuity due so probably if we are talking about a uniform value of 1 coming at the end of each of the years a, a value of 1 coming at the end of each of the years let's say for n years what is the present value so this i will discount by 1 plus i this i will discount by 1 plus i squared and so on so probably this is nothing but v this is v squared this is v cube and probably it is going to v per n so the present value of all these things right that is represented by our symbol called an it is the present value of an annuity a regular annuity the present value of a regular annuity of uh, value 1 coming at the end of each of the periods over one for each of the n periods so if we just try applying the geometric progression formula on the top of this sum of n terms of a geometric progression first term into 1 minus the ratio to the power number of terms n divided by 1 minus the ratio so this becomes b into 1 minus v power n divided by 1 minus v so probably if i try writing instead of v i will write 1 by 1 plus i only for the first part i'll keep 1 minus v per n and here also 1 minus v also i'll write 1 by 1 plus i so probably it is uh, coming out as a simplified form 1 minus v power n divided by i so sometimes people keep this as uh, a formula so finding out an which is nothing but the present value of immediate annuity we'll write it as 1 minus v per n by i here a few more quick additions i would like to do if the same question turns out so if you remember this one probably a lot of questions can be handled quite uh, quite quickly using this concept itself the moment you know this is the present value of a regular annuity okay whenever the question is about find the present value of immediate annuity right so now let me start writing it 
the present one one major result which you have to remember is the present value of regular annuity the present value of a regular annuity will come out as 1 minus v power n divided by i now annuity due so this is actually represented as an but the same logic when i use it for annuity due means all the payments are coming one period in advance so basically it becomes 1 minus v power n whenever we are talking about annuity due we use the word uh, we use uh, the rate of discount rather than the effective rate of interest now extending it a little bit more if i want an present value of the annuity but the payments are not done at the end of the year but the payments are done but the payments are done on a weekly kind of a basis it is nothing but when the payments are done on a weekly kind of a basis i can very well use the same formulas 1 minus v power n by ip so the same way when i am looking at uh, peetli annuity annuity where uh, the payments are made on a peetli basis in advance again the same logic comes this is becoming 1 minus v per n by dp so if we see there are so many uh, uh, if i remember one formula i can try looking at uh, bringing out the relationships between all these formulas also so in a way probably i can uh, write this in a way i can write this so uh, one more uh, logic which we can uh, look at in this uh, case is uh, probably if uh, the payments if i'm uh, looking at uh, okay an is 1 minus v per n by d right so if i try to find the relationship between an and uh, probably an with immediate if i am doing one divided by the other an divide are probably an divided by an if i am looking at these two things it is nothing but 1 minus v per n by d divided by 1 minus v per n by i so it is nothing but i by d and at d we know the relationship between d and i d is nothing but i by 1 plus i so obviously it is coming out as i by 1 plus i overall going as 1 plus i so in a way you can very well prove one more relationship which is an equal to 1 plus i times an so one more important uh, relationship you can bring out the immediate annuity present value of immediate annuity is nothing but 1 plus i times the present value of a normal annuity the same logic uh, again goes in all the cases so that's one more uh, relationship which we can uh, derive and at the same time okay let's look at uh, if i want a n minus 1 let's try out a n minus 1 what would have been the formula for uh, a n minus 1 1 minus v power n minus 1 divided by i right now i know this uh, so if we are looking at let's say an 1 minus v per n divided by d d is nothing but i by 1 plus i so you take 1 plus i to the numerator 1 plus i into 1 minus v power n divided by i so you look at this you multiply this 1 plus i into 